Well, now at six, it's been two days since former Proud Boys leader Enrique Tarrio was sentenced to 22 years in prison. But tonight, his mother insists he's done nothing wrong and doesn't belong there. CBS News Miami's Joe Gorcho sat down with his mother. He joins us live. So, Joe, what else did she tell you? Naja, Jim, we met inside a very crowded law office with other media members here at Miami Lakes, and Enrico Tario's mother says that her son was a pawn in the Justice Department's prosecution against those connected to the Capitol riots. And I think that was the best person they could have got. Sitting in a crowded room inside Enrique Tario's defense team's law office in Miami Lakes, his mother fields questions about the sentencing. She says her son's notoriety played a significant role. Giving him 22 years and putting, you know, everything out there shuts a lot of people up. The former Proud Boys leader was convicted on multiple charges, including seditious conspiracy related to his efforts to disrupt the 2020 presidential election certification. He received a 22-year prison sentence, the longest yet handed down from the Justice Department from the Capitol riot. I can't even begin to tell you the pain that that causes. Tario's mother speaks out after telling us she has kept quiet Quiet, believing the justice system would work. We're someone that was not even in D.C. without enough evidence in trial. Tario wasn't present during the January 6 riots. In their sentencing papers, prosecutors described him as the primary organizer, also writing he was a general rather than a soldier. During the trial, prosecutors presented evidence of Tario using social media during the riot. Quote, make no mistake, we did this. A group of guys just talking text messages and just saying things that they felt, but they never even dreamed of something like this happening. Henry said a lot of things. There was a lot of fluff, but there was nothing backing it up. Why ultimately did you guys reject the plea deal? We saw new defense court filings from last October that it could have been anywhere between a nine to 10 year sentence instead of a 22 if you accepted the plea deal. But at the tail end of it, the government could have requested a terrorist enhancement, which then would have uh, shifted the guidelines to a whole different level. And that was sort of like the risk that we had to assume. To call somebody that has called his country the United States to be almost a traitor, simply unacceptable. And if Tario's defense team plans to file an appeal on Monday or Tuesday of next week. Reporting live in Miami Lakes, Joe Gorcho, CBS News Miami.